Hi, I'm Ben. Welcome to my book corner. And this is my YouTube anniversary tag. And to answer question one right out of the gate, this is my one year anniversary on BookTube. And YouTube in general, I should probably add that point. Um, so yeah, didn't think I'd get this far. I really didn't. I didn't think I'd stick with it. So there we go. So this is the anniversary tag. If you have a YouTube anniversary coming up in the next few months, feel free to class yourself as tagged to do this video. There we go. I don't tag individual people because half the time they've already been tagged in them anyway. So always fun. So question one is how, what anniversary it is, which is my first. Question number two, what genre or genres does your channel generally focus on? And almost exclusively fiction. Um, I actually made sure to double check this before I started recording because I wasn't quite sure how it would fall. And I was surprised to see that it's mainly been horror this year, but I have done two horror events. So, um, followed by fantasy, sci-fi, young adult, plenty of LGBTQ titles in there as well, which span across all those genres as well. A um, little bit of romance in there. So, yeah, whole, a whole host of things. Number three, what are you most proud of on your channel in the last year? Um, the biggest one is 100 subs. Um, I know I said this in my thank you video a few weeks back, but I didn't expect 10 subscribers. You know, I didn't think people would want to see what I have to say. So to have 100 subs is just mind blowing to me. And I really appreciate every single one of you that has subbed or liked or commented or shared or any of that stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just shocked that I got to that thing. It makes me really proud for sticking with it. Number four, do you receive ARCs? No, I don't apply for ARCs. Um, this is a weird thing and it's completely on my part. I don't personally like the idea of receiving things for free as I think that will create an unconscious bias on my part when I'm reviewing the title. I've received one book for free so far, um, that was Lyndon Falls. My review is up for that one and I really appreciate um, Joshua Hershey for reaching out and sending that to me. Um, but for me personally I'd rather go out and buy or borrow or whatever the books myself personally because that way I know that you know spending my own money my own choice there's nothing really um, affecting my opinion and you know nine times out of ten I won't read any reviews for books before I buy them anyway so because I'm one of those annoying people that cover eyes um, number five, what types of videos do you like do, to do on your channel the most? So the thing I enjoy the most is the podcast. Um, simply because I'm talking to someone else about books and obviously, you know, I'll do the podcast with Noah at In Between the Lines, I'll link down below. Um, I mean, editing it is a complete nightmare um, because I try and keep it under an hour and then I look at it afterwards and go, well, we've got 90 minutes to trim here. Um, because we just go off on tangents because, I mean, we know each other in real life anyway, so it's not a great surprise. But they're the ones I enjoy the most, especially when it's a case of we're talking about books that we've both read as well, which we don't do as often as I'd like to. Um, but yeah, I think that that's, that's the ones I enjoy making the most, I think. Number six, what types of videos do you like to watch on other people's channels? So it does depend a little bit on the channel. I do like reading wrap-ups in general. Um, just like a snapshot of what people are reading and just a super quick explanation of what they thought of them. I do like your reading vlog videos that you see though, especially the ones that are out and about. Um, the Natural Books does a really good job of this. Um, I'll link their channel down below as well. Um, also Farah. Um, I can't for the life of me think of the channel name off the top of my head. Um, but I'll link them down below there. Someone I found relatively recently. Um, yeah, just I love to see a snapshot of the beautiful countryside or even the cities um, elsewhere outside of the UK where I live because it's a beautiful snapshot of other parts of the world. But it also shows how unifying reading is as well to fetch people together, which I also really like. Call me a sentimentalist. Um, 
Number seven, was there anything you tried on your channel last year that didn't work? If you ask me, most things that I try don't work um, and I still keep doing them. Um, I am my own biggest critic, so I'm actually going to throw that out to you guys. What do you think from my channel, from the videos you've seen, I should work on more? Because, yeah, I'm, I generally think everything I do is rubbish half the time and I have to be talked around, so... Hard one for me to judge. It's also quite hard to um, gauge as a small channel because obviously the views can fluctuate so much from one video to the next. So yeah. Um, is there anything you've done in, on your channel in the last year you won't continue doing next year? The biggest one will be the virtual avatar which my channel started off with. Um, it was very much an instrument to get me talking to the computer and sharing my thoughts because I never done anything like this before. I'm not really a public speaker or anything like that. I don't like talking, which will amaze a few people, but I needed to do that just to give me a little bit of confidence and that's grown over the course of the year. And obviously now you can see this ugly mug um, looking very English and incredibly washed out and pale. Um, sorry about that. Um, yeah. So that's the big thing. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm not a planner by nature. Um, I try to be quite spontaneous, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, is there anything you plan to do more of this year? Not specifically. I will definitely carry on doing the short story narrations because people keep mithering me for them. Um, don't quite understand why. People keep telling me I have a voice for narration which I completely disagree with because my voice is awful. But I'm going to keep doing that every month. I'm probably going to, rather than trying to do more stuff, I'm probably going to be more structured um, going forward, at least from January. That's the plan because I'm a little bit all over the place. Um, I'm going to try and take part in more booktube events as well. It's not something I've really done other than ones that I've ended up kind of doing myself. So... Yeah, I might try and do a vlog at some point. I planned to do one recently and then deleted all the footage because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, which is always fun. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm trying not to overcommit because I have done that a few times in the last year and it's not fun. Um, <laughs> number 11, what are some of the challenges you face on your channel? Myself. Um, already mentioned, I am my biggest, unbiggest critic. So... I quite often talk myself out of doing things or I get frustrated when I'm recording videos, especially the review videos, which you'd be amazed how long it takes me to record those. I know some people just record a continuous stream of consciousness. I do it in little pockets and oh, it can be frustrating sometimes. It can take, I think I did one recently and it was 50 takes to do just the intro because I kept fluffing it. So that's fun. Um, and the other thing as well is balance, work-life balance. You know, I do have a full-time day job. Um, I also have kids, which is a lot of people won't realise. But I do have kids as well. Um, and obviously this and other leisure activities. So there is a balance to try and find here. It's not something that I'm always overly successful with. So again, making sure I find the right balance so that I could be happy with what I'm creating as well as other aspects of life. So. Um, question 12. What equipment do you use to film your videos? So, originally, um, I started off with the plan of doing a gaming channel, which I have now shuttered. I've put everything on one channel, then I've migrated all the book stuff onto this one, and then after a few months, I ended up closing down the um, video one, the video one, the games one. I may reopen it at some point. So a lot of my stuff was purchased with that in mind, along with live streaming over at Twitch, which I do still occasionally do. So I use a Logitech Stream Cam for most of my videos, and a HyperX Quadcast mic, which is this wonderful red thing, which if I'm not careful is going to smack me in the face. There we go. Um, I've also got a new phone now, which is a Pixel 7a, which I'm starting to use a little bit for videos because it's got a much better camera than my previous one did. In terms of editing software, right now I'm using Mavavi Video Editor Plus, the 2022 edition. Um, 
But I started off using the free one you get with Windows, which is Clipchamp. Um, and then moved on to Cyberlink Power Director because I found a good deal on it, basically. But I'd never touched editing software, like, at any point in my life before, like, the last year. So this has been an experience. You can tell, especially earlier on, because of how um, ropey my audio balancing was at time. It's still not great, if I'm honest. That's something I need to get better at. But, yeah. Um, 13. What is one of the best pieces of advice you can give to another booktuber? So I've got two, really. The first one is try not to pressurize yourself with things like how long your videos should be or when videos should come out because that pressure will lead to you creating a worse thing, basically. But the other one is talk about the books you enjoy. Talk about the books you're passionate about. Don't go and pick a book because it's popular unless it's one that you actually want to read or you think you'll be interested in because... If you end up reading books that you don't enjoy, you'll start to lose your love a little bit for reading and then you go into a reading slump and then it becomes self-perpetuating. Whereas if you're doing stuff that you love, that enthusiasm really does come across and that's infectious, you know? We, we all, we're all here to have a good time and talk about things we love more than anything else. So just do that. Just do the things you like. And finally, wobbly table, Number 14, what is the best part of having a booktube channel? Um, so this is the community, specifically. Um, I have made some good friends in the last year. Um, I haven't mentioned them already, but Jaleesa over at Reading Beyond the book cover is amazing. If you haven't checked her out, please do so. Also, MJ at Reading This Life has been super supportive. Um, just a font of pair of them actually it's just a font of permanent positivity and obviously i've already mentioned um Linacha books and noah as well that is the best part because i've always had this sort of because I've, i'm nearly 41 now and my intention i've always been a bit reticent about coming onto youtube because of how vitriolic social media is a lot of the time and youtube comments and all that sometimes not so good stuff and it's always put me off a bit because of how judgmental it can be and i found the booktube community to be so welcoming and warm that it really does make it feel worthwhile and also the other thing is you know i found books through doing this even quite early on i probably probably would have never read so and it's also kind of re, re, re isn't the worst word, best word for it. Reinvigorated, there we go. My love for reading because before I started this, I can't remember the last time I'd read it. It'd been a long I'd only read a couple of books a year or listen to a couple of audiobooks. Going back years, I stopped reading really about what, eight, nine years ago, probably at this point. I'd sort of wandered away from it. And to go into this year and read more books than I've ever read in a 12-month cycle, that's down to you guys and how welcoming you've all been. So, thank you. But yeah, that is my one-year anniversary tag. I want to thank you all for watching, listening, subscribing, liking, commenting, all the stuff. I appreciate all of you. I hope you all stay well. I'll catch you all next time.